America's federal air marshal program has come under attack in Congress with suggestions that the program is wasteful and unnecessary. But defenders say it's the air marshals who are keeping us safe when we fly. Here's transportation correspondent Chris Van Cleve. Police officers! The air marshal program ramped up just after 9-11 before cockpit doors were reinforced, watch lists expanded, and body scanners added to airports. That is some lawmakers wondering, how much do federal air marshals contribute to keeping travel safe? In a January review, outgoing Senator Tom Coburn wrote, it is unclear to what extent the program is reducing risk to aviation security. He questioned if the agency's strategy for allocating resources, including assigning federal air marshals to certain flights, has kept pace with these changes and security enhancements. I would like to see it totally eliminated. Republican Congressman John Duncan of Tennessee is the air marshal's biggest critic. I think it's the most needless, useless agency in the entire federal government, and that's really a saying something. Duncan sits on the House Oversight Committee, where in September the agency disclosed three air marshals stand accused of hiring prostitutes, posing as porn producers, and recording at least one encounter on a government phone. And last year, the agency's former director, Robert Bray, retired as allegations swirled. He used his position to purchase discounted firearms. How important is the air marshal mission today compared to, say, 2001? There's been plenty of threats to the airline industry from uh, ISIS and al-Qaeda and other uh, Islamic fundamental groups uh, since 9-11. Therefore, the program is just as valid as it was then. Jonathan Gilliam is a former air marshal. He acknowledges the agency has been plagued by low morale and high turnover. A 2014 report ranked the TSA near the bottom of the list for worker morale, but he says the fact the job may include hours of boredom doesn't mean it's unnecessary. As we saw on 9-11, you can take that plane and kill thousands. So, you know, we can't base uh, whether or not that small moment in time where the door is open is worth billions. Uh, I think that we have to look at it as how do we secure that moment in time. You don't know how many people did not try to take over a plane. The Department of Homeland Security refused to answer questions about how many arrests federal air marshals make and declined our request for an on-camera interview. Jim, in a statement, DHS says federal air marshals are an integral part of our risk-based security and are the last line of defense on board an aircraft. Transportation correspondent Chris Van Cleve in our Washington newsroom tonight. Chris, thank you very much.